Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Right, I have had a look at the uh, details of a couple of things, and there are approximately 700 items in Minecraft. At least I believe there are 700 items. I think that does also include potions and um, books and stuff. And this down here, the redstone torches that we've got, we have 20 in a line. So yeah, we could have a, a ways to go then. Could could have a little bit to go. But what we can do is we can sort of decide how wide we want the area in the middle. Um, we can build a double layer so I can actually have um, this one go up a little bit higher. We can raise the center floor and then we can have like a second line along above. I've seen that done quite a few times and it does look quite good, it does work and they don't sort of interact with each other. Because what we'd want to do here is we actually want to put some more chests down and make this into, so we don't just have one chest underneath. It's a question of getting the chests where we want them. Now I think if I was to go and put a chest here like this I don't think that that torch interacts with the chest in any way I don't believe it does so if I stick a hopper on the side there and then I put another chest down here like this and I put a uh, hopper into the side of that one it should all just drop straight down through without causing any problems. It doesn't interact with that or cause any issues over there. So then the final thing that we can do is we can dig out and have one more. So if I was to use the old picky axe and I was to do this. And this time what I'm going to do is let me just bring that one over a little bit like that. Uh, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chest down here like this. And I'm going to stick another hopper going into the side of it down there. So now what we've got is four chests in a line. And the final one will come out down here. So then what we can do on top of that is... This is the tricky bit because we need to be able to open that one. And if I go and stick a block like that on top, a solid block, I can't open that chest. I don't really want to go and put a half slab on there. So, um, and I mean, it's not going to be that stuff anyway. But what we can do, we go into here. Uh, where have we got them? There is a particular item i am looking for which i don't see at the moment it's here somewhere there cobblestone steps it doesn't matter if they're cobblestone or any other steps uh if we were to take some steps and we were to put those down here so i can bring a a step out like that and then what i want to do is you crouch down and I want to put it up like that. So the step goes upside down on top of it. Now, we're not going to do this with cobblestone. We're going to do it with some other step. I don't know what it'll be, but I can open the chest. That's the important aspect of that is I can open the chest. Now, at the moment, I've got this set with solid blocks. And what I was thinking of doing is we'd have the solid blocks i know i've got soil and i've got stone in here but we'll get some other stones in here as well so we can have the we've got granite we've got uh, normal stone we've got cobble actually we don't have normal stone in here and we'd also want smooth stone we want polished granite uh, the, the, the polished versions of that um, and we want to sort of run those down through and then we're going to want uh, the same for stairs the same for slabs and the same for walls as well. So sort of a big stone section. And then uh, there'll be a... Well, a, 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 something... Oh, also for all of the, the timber as well. So we'll have another section for like all of the timber. And then we can sort of start working on some other bits. But I figure if we get all of the stone set up first, then we're, we're sort of heading in the right direction and we've got the sorter. But before we go and do that, 
I'm going to want to get the top line of hoppers installed and then the dump chest where we will put all of our belongings. And that's going to go all the way up there because we're going to be building a second layer of this. And that's going to be out over the top. So I'm going to come over to here. Uh, we're going to have... There is going to be some of our goodies. That, like They're coming out of that chest down there. And then I'm going to want another chest. And the next line of chests, they're going to come out. And then they're going to drop straight down. And they're going to sort of be up here somewhere. So I'll have one lot there that I can reach. And one lot here that I can reach nice and easy. And the second lot up might actually just be a single chest at the bottom that we go into. I, I don't quite know yet. Um, we'll mess around with that later. Anyway, after all of that spiel, uh, Sen has yep. been a little busy, haven't you? Yeah, but you're picking the wrong time of day to come look. Why is it the wrong time of day? Well, it needs to be just about to turn morning, and then you need to see it. Oh, right. Okay, fine. So you're saying stay away and don't come near? Yeah. <laughs> Rude. Um, right, it's well, worth it. In which I case... Think so anyway. We will stay away from what Sen has been doing, and we will do a little bit more work here, because we should have... She's been online for about, well, a, a couple of hours at least, because um, she did some after our last little session uh, while I was in there, and then she did a bit more, and she's done more. And then I had to ask her to stop just for a while, because otherwise she gets carried away and she does like but it looks so pretty yeah but you do so much in between episodes and then it's sort of like it's this really big jump and i, I think I'm we should sort sorry. of we, we, we should sort of limit exactly uh, like we should limit a bit how much we do in, in in between like recordings just just to allow people to keep up <laughs> keep up with all the changes that we're making right um, I'm gonna want more stone. Right, we've now got plenty of stone. We've got uh, some baked stone in there. And if I go and have a look in here, that's given me a few XP levels. Oh, Sen, have you got any XP? Um, I just um, fixed my pickaxe, so I've only got nine levels. Uh, well, nine levels is better than no levels because I, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, probably because I'm an idiot. I went and did all of these books and a lot of them are you know, potentially stuff that we're not actually going to use, which was stupid. Um, impaling, yeah. Uh, sharp, well, sharpness one I'd probably use. But what I should have done, because I was trying to get a diamond sword with looting on it. I'd actually like a diamond sword with looting three on it. Um, I should have made a few diamond swords, which I'm going to do now. Actually, I've got a couple of diamond swords right there. But then what I should have done is I should have made a whole load of wooden swords. Wooden swords are really, really cheap and easy to go and make. I don't want to use stickies. We must not use up our stickies. I must not forget about those. <laughs> Actually, I will go and put the stickies back in here for a minute because otherwise we're going to forget about them. And I don't want to do that. Uh, so, yeah, we got to be really, really careful uh, on that front. But, no, if I go and make a whole load of wooden swords, I can enchant those really quickly. And then when I find an enchantment that I actually want, I can go and use that one instead. See, it's it's perfect, it's foolproof, and I don't know why I didn't think of it before, Anne. So, um, I'm actually just going to quickly pop down a few items here in this chest. And I'm going to do that so that I can get the sword. Because what I'd really like to do is get rid of a whole load of this. I'm not going to want those for a minute. You know what? There we go. Right. Get rid of lots. I'm going to get rid of most of this stuff. Okay, there. I can come back and get all of that in a minute. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to want all of this stuff because there's... Oh, okay. Birch logs. We, we'll go with the birch logs that Sen has gone and made. Um, yeah, or, or a, a whole load of the swords because, well, you, you can make absolutely tons of them. And then what you can do is you can go in here. Hang on. I'll go and put these up like this. So 64 wooden swords. I don't need quite that many. 
You know what? I'm going to... That's 32. Let's cut that. We'll go 15 wooden swords there. There we go. That's, that's perfect. We'll take that many to start with. And then I can see... I can, like, just go and use up the enchantments. See? I'm going to put that one in there like that. I'm going to take this. I've only got five levels of XP at the moment, so it's, it's not a great deal. But I can put the diamond sword in there, and I can drop this in. Now, I can't actually get any of these at the moment because i have that's requirement level six, and I'm on level five. Uh, so we've got Bane of Arthropods. We've got Knockback 1. We've got Bane of Arthropods up there. They're no good to me. I don't want those. Uh, put the wooden sword in, and it's different ones. Unbreaking, Knockback, and... Bane of Arthropods. So you do have to keep swapping them over. You've put the Diamond Sword in. Bane, Knockback, and Bane. And then if I drop a Wooden Sword in, it's Unbreaking Knockback. But if I was to go and do make an enchantment on here and then swap it over, actually, we can go and do that. I can go and get some more XP levels. Um, if I run over to our Smelter over this way... There should be a bit of XP accumulated in that one. Where is it? It's up this way. Uh, yeah, I want to go out through. No, actually, no, there's another way to get to it, isn't there? There's a better way to get to it. We want to go down in here. Drop down here. And then down the ladder. And then through this one. It's a maze that we've got through here. An amazing maze. There we go. That's where I wanted to come out. And then we can run down here. And then we can run down here like this. Race down over this side. See, if I look into these, I've got cactus plants. Okay, wow. I've actually got cactus plants in there. So I've gone through... I don't know why there's a torch in there. Shouldn't be a torch in there. I've gone through and I have used... Loads of these. It's actually... So I want to take a bit of that bamboo there. I'm just going to get rid of that torch. I'm going to... Yeah, I can pick the torch up like that. Because uh, I'm also going to go and put a bit of bamboo in here. And then I can get the XP out of this furnace. So I've got those two. And then these two over here, they've also been burning stuff. So if I take some bamboo out of that one, turn that one, and then I put some bamboo in here. That one's also going to allow me to pick something out, so I can take that out, and I get a Please load of XP. Please come here now. Eh? You have to come over here. What, immediately? It's turning night time. Tur you want it when I when it turns night time? I thought it was when it turned daytime. Well, it has to be night time for it to turn daytime. Oh, uh, right. Oh, so yeah, you'll go to if sleep, though, will you? just come over here, and then I can... and Well, you can sleep, and then you can wake up and see... Right, What's okay. So pretty. Wait one second. Let me just get that bit. 19 levels out of there. Turn that back on again. It's a little bit out of there and a little bit out of there. I'll turn that one back on. I can't drop them back in, so I have to go to the chest down here and I have to dump them in there. That's given me, I've now got 19 levels, which is a lot more like it. That's the sort of thing that we want. Right, do you want me to go to sleep where I am? No, 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 then? you have to sleep over here. Right, okay. I've got no food. I left my food behind. I've we got food. Have done that. We've got our iron farm working away. Right. Which way are you going? Uh, Going round, one, I'm questioning my own wisdom now, whether or not I should be going round. I'll probably be Round right. which way? Oh, you've, got, you've built steps and everything. Oh, don't go that way. Why? Because then you're, you're ruining it. You're coming in from the other side. Right, well, I, I'm not, I'm looking right, straight. Right, come down this way. You've got, a, you've got a couple trees there. Right, okay. Right, come and sleep. The trees are growing everywhere. Sleep. Okay. Sleep. I can see honey everywhere. I can see flowers and beehives. Oh, Look wow. Look at all the bees! <laughs> oh, wow! See? How oh, this is, is so cool! <laughs> How long has this taken? Okay, this is this is so cool. Just that that like, this is all you've been doing, is it, for a couple of hours? Yeah. 
Okay, Just now we can replanting we... trees. Eh? Just replanting trees and some flowers. All right, this is very, oh, very. And chucking down eggs every time I run over one. I can this see that. Is why there's that. a few chickens around. I, I can see there's a lot of chickens around here. Oh, wow, it goes on forever. Look at this. This is so cool. Okay, I know a lot of people will go for like an automated um, bee farm. Uh, just like have a whole load of hives in a farm. This is uh, prettier. This seems a lot less industrial. This this is amazing. This this Doesn't is awesome. Doesn't it look good? Yeah, it does. This is amazing. This is absolutely brilliant. As it happens, I have found a couple of designs for TNT dupers that only take two or three blocks of slime. So we've actually got enough slime. We don't need the honey. We didn't have Push to up. break a tree down Shush. for it. Uh, but no, actually, I think that um, this is going to be quite good because it means that we can build bigger designs of ones that can um, be pushed around for flying and stuff like that. And But um, it looks nice. That's that's the main thing. It is... does. It looks absolutely amazing. And actually, I wonder it... if you can see it off of the out of the house. It looks genuinely amazing. And we'll have enough honey from this that we'll be able to build some big um tnt duping machines that we can have flying around and blowing stuff up it is going to be awesome and yes you can see it from the house that is that is so awesome that is so cool we've got a lot of chickens we have a lot of chickens around here yeah, they are a bit noisy Right, so I'm going to go back and just do a quick bit of enchanting on swords just to see if I can try and get a sword that will give us looting. I want looting. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd like like a, a really high level of looting, but I don't know if I'm going to actually get that. But I've now got 19 levels of XP, so like I can put this one in here. I can put the lapis in. So I can't get that top one, but I can get the knockback or the arthropods, which I don't want. So then we go to a wooden sword. Really cheap, simple, and I got unbreaking, and I got knockback one on there. So I'll just take the cheapest one that uses up one of my levels of XP. And I drop the sword back in. Unbreaking, unbreaking two. Ooh, unbreaking two. Unbreaking three. See, unbreaking is nice, but I don't think it's worth it on a diamond sword. So we swap over. Okay, now this time it's giving me the exact same enchantments. But it didn't last time. I don't know why it's doing that. This one is sweeping edge, sharpness, and smite four. And in here, unbreaking, sharpness, smite five. Sharpness is good. We'll just take the cheapest one. We will take the cheapest one each time. Put the diamond sword in, sweeping edge, sharpness. No. I don't know what the chances are of actually getting what we're after on here. So there's a uh, sharpness. I'm tempted to try and like combine a few of these. I probably won't. We'll probably just ditch all of the wooden swords. But I'm, I, I don't know what the chances of getting looting. Like that one, unbreaking two, that requires 19 levels of XP on there. And that one's unbreaking one there. It's not going to get me what I want. That one seems to be the same. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be following any set patterns. My looting. It's only looting one. I need 15 levels of XP for that. Okay, I'm not going to do any other enchanting. It's a looting one. Even looting one. I mean, looting three is what we want. I need to get uh, one more level of XP. It's a looting. It's a looting sword. What do we got over here? I've already took everything out of that furnace. I haven't got anything else I can take, Sen. What do you want? I I, I need uh, I, I need XP on anything. I, I need to get some XP. Um, what what do we got XP in? Ooh, maybe I can get it on here. We got the blast furnace in here. Oh, I know what I did to stop the blast furnace. I did this before. I put a switch down on there. I need to go here a second. I need a block of cobblestone there, and I want to go here. Actually, I can just do this in my own inventory, but never mind. Uh, I take a lever right there, and then I'm going to go over to the 
furnace right here. And it's not actually the furnace that I want to put this on. Have we got anything that we can smelt in the furnace? Mm, no, I don't think so. Actually, I think we do. Did you pick up some? We did oh, have some that's iron chain, yesterday. That's, that's chainmail boots. Uh, there, all this gold. We got this gold armor that you had. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait a minute. There's an iron helmet. Let's put the iron helmet in. We're never going to use that. Put the iron helmet in and we'll smelt that one. It should stop it from going through because I've locked the hopper. Yes. And that got me a couple of levels of XP. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Right, so we can turn that one the other way and then it should allow the um, the rest of it. You get one nugget from any bit of armor that you smelt. Now let's go into here. Go into there. And that one. Looting one! I got a looting one sword. It's also given me unbreaking two, which is even better. So it's going to last a really long time. If I can get another looting, if, if I could get another one, that would be even better. Let's fire aspect and sharpness. So let's uh, swap over the swords again. Let's, let's keep doing this. I'll just keep enchanting a couple more of these wooden swords. If I can get another looting... That would be absolutely fantastic. That's just a... What should I do? Uh... That's a good question. This is a problem. You don't give me anything to do, so I go find something. And then I want to finish Ooh. it. I know what you can do. I know what you can do. Right, over this way. This is our main hall in here, right? That yep. one there is the chest that is going to show what that's, that's uh, what we're going to have in it, right? So we just dig up a few of these. This is sort of where we would want the level of the floor to be down here. So you need this top layer taken Right, off. well, uh, yeah, but hang on. Um, we've got the level of the floor coming out there. Then we're going to... Now, this, this is the bit because I've got to build another piece... Of the sorter that will come out. Let me just put this up a second. Right, so, oops. I'm going to build another layer of the sorter, and then this is going to come out here like this. And on top of that, right there, you build up a. Uh, I don't want to build it up that way. I want to come out this way. Why aren't you going outwards? There. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, so then from here, I don't have the chests. Right. Well, never mind. Um, let me come down and get a chest a minute. I've got, like, a really, really good, like, plan for this, Sen. It, it is going to work. Trust me. It's, it's going to be worth the wait. Okay. okay. You're on the edge mm -hmm. of your seat with excitement? Yep. So, we can go and I'll put a chest down there. And I'll put another one there like that. I need to kind of keep them away from here. So, the other... Basically, it'll just come down on top of that. It doesn't really matter. That's the chest that counts. So, we'll come over to here a minute. We will get rid of those. And you can see right there that we've now got this chest down here. So, you can sort of... Ignore the blocks that I've just chosen there for those. But yep. I've got a, I've got a chest here that we're going to want to be able to access. So you need to be able to access the side of that one. So we're going to want to be able to mark it on there. And we're going to have to have upside down steps coming along. Um, but we can that bit we will do afterwards. Hang on, right upside down steps? So you can open the chest. If you put a full block, you can't open the chest. Oh, right, okay. Uh, and then there'll be something similar to that chest up there. Now... If we were to just have a hallway that is running down through here. Yeah. Up to there, like that. Right. It's not going to be all that brilliant coming along here. You've got the item here on an item frame. So we'll put an item frame on the back of that set of steps right there, yeah? Yeah. And then that chest underneath will have the contents. And we can oh, store up to yep. four double chests for each item. Right. Uh, further up, though, 
you've got that chest up there. So you've got to reach up quite a way to be able to get that one. It's four blocks high. So we, I'm thinking that what we want to do is down through the middle, we either go for a full block down through the middle like this and then have, say, a half slab down the side down here in front of the chest. And then we can easily reach that. Or we just have half slabs down through the middle. Right. Um, yeah. Well, I can have a play around with it and see what looks better. Yeah, so like we, we want to be able to reach what's in the top chest. I'm but thinking... do you need help replicating that all the way down? Uh, not or at are the you doing that? No, I'm not going to do it at the moment because I'm going to have to take some of that away so that I can build up the redstone stuff at the back. We will eventually right, okay. sort of get to working on that. The only thing that we're going to have an issue with is that we've got four chests worth of storage for each item. Four double chests. Yeah. That's what we're going to end up with. So we've probably already got more than four double chests worth of cobblestone. Yeah. Um, so we may end up with, like, some of these items are going to overflow a bit. That's, that's the only issue that we have. Um, there will be an overflow chest, so that if that does happen, then we can sort of take care of that. But I'm wondering if I should have started this off with, like, two lines for cobblestone and two lines for dirt, because those are going to be, like, the bulky ones. The yeah. rest of it, we're not likely to get that many chests worth. Uh, don't know. That's that's something that we'll tweak a little bit later, maybe. Okay. Um, but because uh, well, actually, what we could do is we could do one line of cobblestone down here at the bottom, and then another line of cobblestone blocks up there at the top. Um, so that we have the two lines of cobblestone there, and then I think the, yeah, the next one's a dirt, so it'll be a double line of dirt right there, and we can have loads into those two, and then the rest will just be normal double chests. That should be fine. Anyway. Uh, that's that's kind of what we want. So this wall here and a bit on the floor, this is going to be stuff that we look at. All of the rest of it behind there, that's all going to be hidden and we won't actually see it. So you've got this block underneath, that will be seen. And you'll just see the edge of that block underneath the edge of the chest right there. So you may want to change that block as well to whatever building block you decide is the best one. Hey, why have I got to choose the block? Well, you don't have to. So there's, there's no pressure on you to go and actually I, you know, choose I don't the like block. choosing. I was thinking that it could be quite cool to have sandstone. We haven't got anything with sandstone at the moment. And there's a lot of sandstone available in the desert. But we don't have any back here. And we don't have anything built out of sandstone. So I was thinking that that could actually be quite a cool option. So it's something we need to go get. Yeah. It would look nice. So, yeah, that, that might be something that we go and work on. Right. Let's go with sharpness on there. And I keep going with sweeping edge, unbreaking. See, I'm running out of XP levels again on here. We're going to have to um, possibly go and get something else. We've got knockback, smite, bane of arthropods. It's kind of an all right method of doing. I mean, yeah, uh, we use up our XP levels. We, we know that we're going to be using up XP levels to do something like this. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.